In last week's episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, I shared an excellent Rick Roll Easter Egg from Sea of Thieves, and it got me thinking. What other games try to Rick Roll you? Well, in today's video, I'll be sharing eight of the very best Rick Roll Easter eggs in video games. Now, I will say that the quality of the games in this video ranges from great to, well, you'll see. If you think I may have missed a Rick Roll, then the best places to let me know are in the comments or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like, subscribing, or turning notifications on is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, Let's get started. So let's begin with one of the better games featured in this video. Payday 2 has to go down as one of the most well-supported games ever. Despite releasing in 2013, the game is still updated regularly with new masks, characters, and heists. Well, at least on the PC anyway. Thanks to those frequent updates, Payday 2 has maintained a very healthy player base, so much so that Payday 3 was recently announced. Now, one of the toughest parts of Payday 2, well, for me at least, is stealth. I can never quite make it through a level undetected. I'm either spotted by a camera, a guard, or I forget to answer a pager. Well, when playing as Sydney, her pager responses are so good that I almost never forget. Here are a couple of my favourites. When I was a young girl, they used to call me Biscuit Mama. Oh, I miss that nickname. Can you start calling me that? I just can't get over the season finale on The Walking Dead. I need to talk to someone about it. I come from a land down under, where beer flows and men chunder. Oh, sorry. Is this on? Hello? Well, one very rare response from Sydney may be familiar. Is this on? So you weren't actually the victim of this Rick Roll. The guard on the other end of the pager was, but it's still really cool. So from a great game to a game that was never even finished. Now I, like most of you I assume, used to watch a lot of Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. And that's actually where I heard of this next game. Rides with Strangers is exactly what it sounds like. In the game, you take control of a hitchhiker who has to take a ride with a stranger. Now, admittedly, the stranger is a very, very strange stranger, but he's a man of God, so surely you're safe, right? Well, no. Anyway, the Rick Roll found in Rides with Strangers can be seen after getting into a car. As you are creepily interrogated by your new roadside buddy, you can interact with the radio. Now, apparently it's broken, but if you interact with it 25 times, the lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up will appear. I guess it pays to be really, really persistent in the world of Rides with Strangers. Hopefully, the soothing tones of Rick Astley will calm the driver down. Speaking of games that gained a lot of fame thanks to YouTubers, let's take a look at Slendy Tubbies 2. Slendy Tubbies is an online horror game which answers the question we've all wondered. What would happen if we combine Teletubbies with Slenderman? Much like the Slenderman game, the objective in Slendy Tubbies is pretty simple. Collect a tubby custard before Tinky Winky finds you. Now, you'll probably want to collect your tubby custard and get the hell out of there but if you choose to explore, you can make a very special discovery. On the Teletubby land map, you can find this. So depending on your musical tastes, finding a body-bending 3D model of Rick Astley singing Never Gonna Give You Up may be the scariest part of the game. So one of my favourite things to find in games are QR codes. Sure, most of the time they simply take you to the developer's website, but on that odd occasion they can do so much more. World War Z released in 2019, and if I'm honest, isn't as popular as it should be. Chucking hundreds of zombies at you at once, certain scenarios in this game can be downright terrifying. I mean, just look at this zombie pyramid. Can't let them get up here! Elevator shafts open on the far side of this floor. Well, if you can find the time to take a breather between the hordes of the undead, you may find this QR code. The more curious among you may be even tempted to scan the code with a QR reader. And if you do, this will happen. Again, what's scarier? 
a horde of flesh-eating zombies, or Rick's dance moves? Let me know. So on this channel, I tend to stick to Easter eggs found in games. Now what I mean by that is, I very rarely go digging through a game's files to find secrets, but in the interest of this video, digging is what I had to do. Celeste is a 2D platformer released in 2018. Known for its difficulty and its powerful message around mental health, Celeste was a hit with both critics and players alike. Now you're probably wondering where the Rick Roll is in a game like Celeste. And let me tell you, it's not easy to find. The chances are that if you've ever explored the contents of a game's install directory, you've come across a bank file. A bank file can contain hundreds of pieces of audio from a game. The steps required to extract the audio from a bank file can be pretty tricky, so if you're interested in learning how to do it, I will leave a link to a tutorial in the description. But trust me, it's not easy. Anyway, I did this for all of the bank files in Celeste, and if you head to Assets, Characters, and finally Dialogue, you can find a file called Wow So Secret. I'm sure you can guess where this is headed. Click on the file to hear this. So this was a very strange version of Never Gonna Give You Up, sung by the protagonist of Celeste, Maddie. I must admit that finding this has made me very curious about what else may be hiding in other games' folders. Up next is Watch Dogs 1. Now, the Watch Dogs series has always had an appreciation for memes, and it was never more apparent than in the first Watch Dogs and its hackable signs. Above several roads, you could find signs that could be hacked to display messages. Some are references to pop culture, some are references to memes, and some are just random. Well, if you're patient, and I do mean patient, I spent around 45 minutes hacking this sign just for this message to appear, you may finally be able to spot this. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty low effort, but I'm sure it makes Rick proud. The penultimate Rick role can be found in the excellent Skate 3. Now, I've been a Tony Hawk fan since I was a kid, but I don't see why both games can't exist at the same time. Whilst nailing tricks in the Tony Hawk series always looks and feels spectacular, when playing Skate 3, landing a simple kickflip can feel just as good. Apparently, EA are finally getting to work on Skate 4, so fingers crossed it's as good as Skate 3. Now, the Rickroll in Skate 3 is actually a pretty clever play on words. In the downtown area of the map, you can find this. I thought you were a skateboarder. So this bakery is called Rick's Rolls. Come on, admit it, you find that one a little funny. So to end today's video, let's revisit the Easter egg that served as the inspiration for this video. On an island in Sea of Thieves, you can find a book which may seem familiar. I will once again take great pleasure in reading it to you. We're no strangers to this cove. You know the pirate code and so do I. A pile of treasure is what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other pie, Ritz. Never gonna bring you up, never gonna let you drown, never gonna sail around and maroon you, never gonna steal your eye, never gonna not say I, never gonna sell your booty for a doubloon. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is massively appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.